Good morning, beautiful people. Oh my gosh, it is officially day three in Puerto Rico. And this is technically the first day of Black Rose Pole uh, family reunion. Yesterday was check-in. Today will be the workshops. Um, I am excited because also I will be um, trying to conduct a, a few interviews. I'm going to try to see how I can go about that. Um, but the goal is to conduct a few interviews today. So uh, I'm going to write my questions down, really get ready for that. I also felt uh, spontaneous and I decided to invite everybody to join me to run this morning. Uh, what the fuck was I thinking? What the fuck, bitch? And the only reason why I'm up right now is because Mario, I love Mario so much. Uh, Mario is... Um, had to drop me off this morning. So because Mario had to drop me off this morning, I was like, you know what? Let me just make the best use of my time and network with people and just offer opportunity to lead a run. Even though I, yo, I want to be a runner so bad, but I'm not a fucking runner. runner. So we'll see how that goes. But um, I came here, it's like about 5.30 right now in the morning. Um, and clearly I don't know how I have the energy because I am sleep deprived right now, but I will say this is day three. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to catch as much footage today. I'm going to be positive about today because I'm not about to let my thoughts or how people treat me. I'm not going to let anything stop me from having a great motherfucking time. So stay tuned. So I decided to go on a run and you know, we're solo. That's okay. Okay, so I'm heading to the convention center. I finished the run. Heading to the convention center. Um, super early. It says it opens at 8.30, but I want to get there early so one, I can change into my clothes for the day and also so I can kind of like freshen up and get there early so I can have some food. So I'm trying to get that situated right now. Fingers crossed we will get in because I have nowhere else to go. <laughs> so we'll see. It's so funny because I technically didn't have a hotel. Um, I was staying with my friend Mario who lived about 20 minutes away from the convention center. So I snuck in the convention center. They were like, are you staff? And I was like, yeah. And I just literally went into a bathroom that had that was far away from everybody. And I just got dressed there. And I was like, this feels so familiar. Like, how? why am I comfortable with just finding a way in and getting dressed in a random ass bathroom? But, you know, you live life on the edge. And I look cute. So why not? We are headed to breakfast. I fixed my hair. I look somewhat decent. I, I look pretty decent if you ask me. So let's get started. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. You have to like, you should write. So right after breakfast, we were guided to go into the main stage area. I love how they were playing, you know, like family reunion music. Um, I love how they had like a couch. Um, and I don't know, it just kind of gave off like family reunion vibes. Uh, I really like that. I was really excited to kind of kickstart the, the family reunion pretty well, in my opinion. I also really like the um, MC Vertical Joe, she really, really put on for like the representation and the excitement for most of us. So I was really excited to see her. Puerto Rico, the chosen one.
some housekeeping rules for you. And for those of you who do not know, my name is Joe, AKA Firestarter, and I'm gonna be <laughs> your MC all weekend long and your coordinator. And let me tell you something, we're gonna be backing it up all weekend long, so you make sure you keep them clappers ready, okay? <laughs> Like I said, Joe really set it off. I ain't gonna hold you. She was one of the reasons why I was so uplifted throughout the convention um, or the family reunion, solely because she was upbeat, very personable, very down the earth, had a lot of personality, and I really appreciated that. so grateful to see all of your faces uh, but I'm like just beyond excited to see your faces and to see all of you just here and to just believe in this vision of what Black Girls Poll is Whew. I might have to sit down because you know I get winded really quickly these days um, but yes I want you all right now I have my notes because I don't want to mess anything up and I want to make sure that I say all okay so we just had the opening which was actually really good like Delijah gave me some inspiration which was really cool to hear um, everybody's super excited from people who have taken like the first Black Girls Pole retreat to people showing up to the first convention it's actually really cool to see. Um, so the next class is going to be uh, Tricks with Styles, which is with Crystal Belcher. I am going to take that class, but I feel like I need to get like at least one interview in before then. Okay, for those of you who are not familiar with Leah, she's a beast. She's amazing. Um, we actually have some close ties that I'll go into at a later time. But Leah, the reason why I wanted to talk to you is because you've always been somebody that I've been inspired by. Um, I've always watched you from a distance and who you are as a person, very genuine, very loving, very caring. And so with Photo Glow, one of the things we prioritize is social camaraderie, um, wellness, healthy relationships, and also mental health. So the first question I have for you is there's a lot of people in the community who have a hard time connecting with people, especially at their home studios. Uh, what factors do you consider when creating um, a community around pole? So for me, some really key factors are, one, myself taking that wall down and being open and vulnerable. I found that sometimes when I have my guard up, it's, how, it's hard to let other people in. So Same. one, checking myself. Yeah. Two, some factors include just having a space where you can truly show up as yourself. Mm. Um, a lot of the times we have to put on these masks in other roles, especially at work or school or with your family. But when you step outside of that, if you can truly be yourself, that feels like a home for me. So yeah. all of that helps me build my community. And yeah. those are things that I look for. So you truly believe chase, well, excuse me, don't chase, attract. Yes, attract, okay. yes. Okay, so just show up as your authentic self mm -hmm. and then the right people will come to you. Yes. Um, <laughs> but if it's not in your ministry, so I've been following Crystal Belcher for some time now and one of thing one of the things I truly appreciate about who she is as a person is she will take the time to get to know you to help you to give you feedback and to really guide you. And she's just a really sincere person. And I think that's one of the reasons why I continue following her. I continue engaging with her because no matter how far along she's been in her journey, her pole journey, she really finds a way to connect with existing people, veterans, people who have been in the game for some time, or maybe it's their first year or their first month. She always finds a way to connect with people and um, you know, it's a constant reminder that I, I kind of want to be like her when I progress in my, as I get older in my journey. Um, 
I really enjoy her her class because she really is great. Like her warm up, I didn't even show y'all her warm up. Her warm up alone is just so exciting. It's fun. It doesn't feel like a warm up. Um, she's very intentional about her moves. Everything she does inside of during the warm up or the stretch, it's leading up to what we're planning to do in class. Um, she's just a great person to follow um and to learn from and yeah I'm, I'm glad to be taking her classes or her workshop again I think I started taking I met her at PSO um because I want to say she's a judge wrangler or I forgot what the name is or I forgot what it is but I guess she works with the judge judges at PSO and then she's an MC for Polcon and then of course she also teaches workshops there so I've had a few interactions with her to the point where I'm like yeah, she's a genuine person. Um, I had the pleasure of interviewing her uh, last year at Polcon, and she's just a phenomenal person. And I'm, I'm really grateful to have connected with her. This is my first time taking uh, one of Phoenix Casri's class or workshop. Um, what I love about Phoenix is she's so down to earth, very, very, very humble. She's a very talented um, artist and learning from her. She's all about technique and execution and also like taking the time to progress. And so what I've noticed about her beginner to intermediate class, which is this workshop, is she really starts with the basics. And then as you become comfortable with the basics, she'll then tell you, OK, this is how you can progress within this movement. And I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. And you'll see um, even how she breaks it down. She tries her best to explain how to properly execute and then the mechanics of executing. And then how do you like, how do you execute in a way in which you're progressing in that movement? I also appreciate, I took her, uh, one of her seminars or I attended one of her seminars where she talked about traveling and just being a professional in the, in the industry and taking her class, you see her professionalism. You see how she moves. You see, um, her level of expertise. And when it comes down to instructing, um, I'm approaching my first year as an instructor and I realized that, yeah, this is who I want to become. This is the person I want to embody. This is the professionalism that I believe in. And I think would be a huge benefit if I decided to, um, you know, continue progressing along my teaching journey. So yeah, shout out to Phoenix. I'm really excited to have met her along this workshop. I was supposed to interview her. Unfortunately, we, uh, couldn't align regarding our schedules, but in the future, I'll see her again. I'll definitely make sure I keep following her. were amazing now we are headed to lunch and I'm praying they have vegan food my bun came apart but we're gonna get it together so stay tuned I'm going to keep it really badly I'm like mom I'm Tara nice to meet you This is my third workshop of the day. And boy, I was becoming tired. Having back-to-back -back workshops is tiring. And so for those of you who are planning to attend this retreat, my suggestion for you will be um, make sure you're getting some type of like hand cream that moisturizes your skin because you'll start to know, notice that you're becoming depleted towards the end of the day. And that's at any convention, at any event where there are multiple workshops, you become tired. I will say I need to start training more. Um, I started teaching uh, July of 2023. And I noticed that because I'm not taking as many classes as I once was, my training or my ability 
uh, or my strength when it comes down a pole, it just is slowly depleting. And so as you can tell, I'm literally bruised at this point. I'm like, yo, I can't keep doing this. So thankfully, um, Phoenix gave me a wrist guard, uh, which is like a sweatband for your wrist. And that kind of helped me through um, the last couple of sessions or the last couple of moves for this workshop. But I was beat the fork up. And like, when I say my hands were red, oh, look at those calluses, child, beat the folk up. But it was actually good. I have a lot of recordings. I need to train more. Um, I had spent some time at this hotel, which was next door to the convention center. Um, for those of you who are attending, try to get a hotel nearby so you could just walk. Hello, everyone. We are back at it again. Uh, this is day three technically of me being in Puerto Rico. This is technically day one for Black Rose Pole. It's been phenomenal thus far. I am having a great time. I am meeting great people. Uh, next up is game night, so stay tuned. And that's all I got. Period. What does representation mean for you in the pole dance community? Representation means to me that everyone feels included and that they know that no matter what age they are, what size they are, where they're from, that they belong in pole. So yes. I think that's so important and making things gender um, inclusive mm. because, you know, Black Girls Pole is really for everyone yes. to be a part of, but really specifically, I think for black women who oftentimes don't have that representation yes. at their pole studio. So we can be able to network with other people who go through similar things people who look like us, who understand what it's like to be a black woman. Yes. So it's just really important to elevate black voices because yes. like black women are magical. tired I'm exhausted but today was a great day met a lot of great people went running took some classes I'm feeling pretty good all right so I'm waking up and doing it all over again so good night y'all peace